Well, hey everybody, it is Friday the 23rd of July. I did that video last week of uh, the processor. I'm sorry. Um, I'll probably take my earplugs out. I'm not screaming at you guys. Um, so anyways, uh, I did that video. I was just about finishing the process processed wood that I had laid down. I talked about trying to find somebody um, maybe to run the processor. Hey, there, that's better. Um, and fr I think that was probably like, I videoed that on like Thursday. I finished up processing a little bit of what I had left on Thursday. And then I um, was gonna hop in the buncher here. Friday, well, you just kinda saw that. Um, and what happened, so Friday I was, God, the sun's bright. Uh, Friday I was processing along and, not processing, sorry, bunching. And I had put, well, all the plates are bolted off, but here, here's, this is what goes on the back of the head. And there's this, this little part here sticks out a little further so you can kind of, I mean, you could kind of help pull yourself and, you know, stick it on stump or something and kind of help and not damage, you know, this part. So anyways, I put this, which goes on the back of the head here, and I put it on a stump to help turn. And it slipped off the stump and landed probably like right in here on the disc. You can see, I mean, it's, they don't have a lot of clearance, but let's get out of the sun here. It pushed hard enough where the top of the teeth rubbed right there. And I stopped to, um, I stopped to uh, relieve myself and I didn't hear anything funny, but uh, um, I'm having a brain cramp here. But when I stopped, that did slow down really quick, and it was making like a rubbing or a ticking noise or something of that nature. And I thought maybe I had messed up the bearing in there or something. I wasn't really sure. So I ordered the bearings, and um, the guy that I had take that off couldn't come out till Wednesday morning, and he said, that cap right there is what holds the disc on. That goes right here. Um, said as soon as he started loosening up those Allen head bolts, the disc came free and would spin. So, say it was sprung, and then once you got the disc off, you could see that it, it was rubbing right here and there. And because um, there was a, f you know, if you got the disc in the right spot, it would run free for a part of a turn before it would kind of bind up, and I couldn't turn it by hand. Um, so, by the time I got back, they needed a couple extra bolts. He put a straight edge across the center, which would be flat. And on one end, he, um, Kevin could run his finger underneath the straight edge. And on the other end, he couldn't. So, it was pretty obvious that we determined that it had bent. Um, and I had a couple people. I really don't know if you could even... I don't really, I mean, I suppose there's a will, there's a will, there's a way to um, straighten them. I, I don't know if you can or not. I'm sure there's, somebody's got a device somewhere. But this disc had already been fixed once um, before I bought it. And I think it usually cracks somewhere around here. Well, this cracked around the center. And so this is thicker right here so they cut that center out and then added a new piece like about I, I'm assuming about where my fingers are because you can see the or you can't see in the video but the thickness kind of tapers down to about here so it's not cracked but this disc has a hell of a lot of hours on it and 
um, they're, I mean, I get, I think those, if those discs are compromised, they're kind of a, of a bomb waiting to go off, so I ordered a new one, which hopefully could be in today, Friday, or Monday, and then the bearing was fine, then I'll have a brand new disc, and I won't have to, uh, I won't have to, uh, worry about that disc or anything and uh, it'll be new so I don't really mind it so much because it's an improvement on this machine and that this machine's earned it it's got 17,000 hours on that disc so it'll have a this machine will have a brand new disc it's got a new saw motor on the head I repacked a couple cylinders new undercarriage the engine's been done um, so I've been testing the hydraulic fluid of the pump main pumps those are good um, so I think the machine's worth it. I'll show you the new one when we get it. And so I kind of floundered around this week a little bit, I feel like. Um, but Monday, Wes finished changing all the gear oil in the forwarder. I did inventory on my hydraulic hose fittings so I can stock up a little. Let's see, I've been into the toolbox here. Um, there's the hydraulic hose maker. Does up to an inch, I think. Or inch and a half, maybe? I bought the bigger horse, the horse and a half, or whatever the bigger electric you know, pump for that is. And I've been using this um this i know i talked about it before but this friggin air compressor is unbelievable i love having it it was a really good investment um the other one i don't know if i ever showed it but it was like that carpenter it had the two little torpedo tanks and um i i guess i didn't it took a little while but it was something was failing it wasn't building pressure um so after monday we um, Wes, I did some stuff, and then, uh, Tuesday, I don't know, we were kind of waiting around to see what was, I was, I was optimistic, thinking the bearings, um, uh, it was just the bearings on the buncher, and that we'd have it back going Wednesday, which wasn't the case, so, yesterday, I, uh, decided, I'd, I actually had a bunch of stuff to do that I, to the, to the processor, um, which, yeah, another thing, running the that bigger air compressor, that I have that three-quarter inch Ingersoll ran. What a difference. Geez, that works great with running off that compressor. So the feed wheel chains needed to be tightened. They're still a little... Let me, and that's not bad right there. You don't want to tighten them too much because you're just going to wear them out. So it's got these Allen heads in here. And this is oblonged, so you turn it, and it, uh, that's what adjusts the tightness on the head. Um, but in the process, I smashed my finger. My handy dandy little first aid kit here. Finger hammer, finger crowbar hammer. That hurt. Tightened those feed wheels yesterday, and I adjusted the clamp pressure for the um, these feed wheels have a certain pressure that they squeeze on the tree and that would give you your traction or you know how much pressure you're going to have on the teeth and um, so I went in there there's signal limiters in the valve bank and I couldn't remember which one they were so I I fooled around and figured out which one it was same thing happened to my last one. They're supposed to be right around 2,500 psi when they close, and you can look at that on the computer in the in the machine. You can close this, and it'll give you the you know, and hold the button, and it'll give you your pressure. And uh, they seep down to somewhere between 1,900 and 2,000, so five or 600 psi, which doesn't seem like a lot. But when I did it with my last one, my la last processor. It was like a whole new machine. I couldn't believe it. And, the, and that last one had the spiked feed wheels instead of these chisels, which was... Um, so I'll probably notice even more of a difference with this. So I just did that, and there was a few fittings that were leaking, O-rings, and 
blew out the air filter and some of this crud around underneath the cab and checked the oil and this and that and but what I didn't I was having a brain cramp yesterday and I messed up when I tightened the feed wheels for some reason um this uh, let me get in here this thick part is on the bottom now I don't know why I thought because I've done this a million times but for some reason I thought that putting it on the top would push the this up push the feed wheel up and you know this morning I, I walked in the woods with the processor and I had it I had this the the skinniest part of it down on the bottom so the feed wheels were there's this little bark cleaner thing right here and it was putting pressure on it and the feet, it was putting so much pressure on it that when I tightened the allen heads that it didn't want to turn so I got looking at it and said no 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 crap dummy the fat part has to be the thicker part has to be on the bottom so it pushes the feed wheel up to tighten the feed wheel chain so all right I didn't have this part in the video because I wasn't sure I was going to tackle it when I made the this video on Friday. It's Saturday now. Um, this is the measuring wheel. This is the cover for it. So after I smashed my finger yesterday, or yeah, yesterday, I um, said, "Well, what the hell? I'll take this off." And, and these are the bearings. It's got uh, looks like three different bearings that down in this hole here with a seal right here that uh, keeps the gear oil in and when I open this you can see there was um, some metal and crud in there partly probably because um, I forget I had this worked on and they couldn't get that plug out or something and they drilled another hole and put like a self-tapping screw in there or something and that didn't hold so I, I'd keep putting some gear oil in there but now I've got time so I'm gonna drill it a little bigger tap it out and get a plug to put in there um, but the problem with these bearings really weren't that bad but it was spinning far too easy there's when these bearings are new there's a little bit of drag on the wheel so that it um, doesn't free roll too much it, it just there needs to be a little tightness to measure good so that when there's a pressure applied it it um rolls good but then you know if it comes off it doesn't just free spool so anyways i figured i'd add this in long story short it's been one of those weeks um you know like i said i think like the buncher um you know i'll have a new disc i think it's kind of like new tires you know i hate to buy new tires but as soon as you do, you're like, oh, it's so much smoother and it gets better traction. So um, I'm sure I'll notice a difference. And it was pretty pricey. Um, but it's earned it. Um, and it, I guess it was kind of good that I caught up on a bunch of, pro of maintenance on the processor. And um, Wes got the gear oil finished in this and had a little bit of time to get some of his stuff done this week. And hopefully... Um, next week we'll be back to normal and not quite sure where we're heading next but um, we still got a good amount left to do on this so anyways i figured i'd try to get a video out this week and kind of show you guys what is going on so like subscribe comment and we'll smash your finger later